And welcome to a cup of coffee and Mike Diana part two. Hmm? If you haven't seen the other video of Mike Diana, go to uh, the other episodes in the series of a cup of coffee here on my YouTube channel to see the uh, America uh, comics books by Mike Diana. Already did a, a little look through of that, but today I got this insane package. Mm that I ordered directly from Mike Diana's website. So this is not sponsored, I bought this for my hard-earned comic book artist money. So go check out his uh, website, it's in the link below of course, uh, promoting one of my heroes, Mike Diana. If you don't know, short, uh, to, short to sum him up, uh, he's the only comic book artist or artist in America that got uh, jailed for three years for making comics pretty fucked up. Watch the trailer for his documentary, Mike Diana, Boil Angel. It's also in the link below. By now, my comic book, Mansoni Monster Magazine, volume 15, is out and available at cafefancine.com. Go check that out in the link below. Limited editions, if they're still available, uh, comes with the signed and hand number A4 prints, and there's a lot of fucked up shit in that comic, so I hope you enjoy it. It's in English, so uh, the whole world can read it. Way. Hey. Um, Ken the Chilling Volume 4 Tiffany will be out uh, before Christmas sometime and The Meat Man uh, hopefully will come out and a very special comic will be released the first Monday in 2021. Can you guess what it is? Write in the comments below. But get my comic Mansoni Monster Magazine at kaffefansien.com There you will get, if still available, uh, Coffin Comics Volume 2 Halloween Special which is a free comic only available at the website and um, uh, blah blah blah. It's also available to buy at Shabby Records, Root Time Tattoo, uh, Apollon Records in Bergen, Tronsmo Buchhandel in Oslo, um, Krimskams in Haugesund. Did I forget somebody now? Shabby, Tronsmo, Krimskams. No, I think I have it all, but all information on cafefancien.com. Now, Let's get our hands on this fucking insane package. Speaking of comic book artists, my good friend and toy dealer Fiant, which I bought all these amazing toys from, gave me this present yesterday, which is gonna be framed and hang up on the wall. Optic Croc versus Little Half Dead Ken Decay. Look at that great piece of art. Huh? That's fucking amazing. Now I realize that the shadow you see right here is from my drawing table. So I will hold it like here. <laughs> yeah, we just do it here at Café Fonsina. Now, with this knife, I will open the Mike Diana box. The cool thing is, I know uh, that I, I've ordered for a lot. This was the last uh, shopping spree I was gonna go on before I have to start getting better at saving money because there's a lot of comics getting released in the near future and I need to save up, so I wanted to go crazy. But it's really important that you support your favorite artists. Because if you don't, they have to get a job at McDonald's and then they end up committing suicide. We don't want that, do we? Okay, people. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> and I never read uh, what's on the uh, items of the package uh, stuff. So, if he's added something extra in it, maybe he did, maybe not, I will not know before. <laughs> Plastic! Okay, that was embarrassing. I couldn't pop one, single one. Whew. Where to fuck it? Oh my god, dude! Dude! I've ordered one t shirt, but I have three t shirts. Crazy. Yes! Motherfucker! Oh, that's so fucking cool. These are screen printed by Mike Diana himself. So this is bad biology. Okay, I have to put the box here or else I can't show shit. We got this t-shirt right here. <laughs> bad biology. Fucking... And it says something on the back here. There's a lot of dicks. <laughs> From 2010. That's fucking cool. Fucking cool. Thanks, Mike. 
And then you have this one. This is the one that I ordered. The classic Boiled Angel Lives uh, logo thing. That's on his... That's the uh, zines and comics that he got jailed for. So we're gonna put that motherfucker on. But right now, first we're gonna let our hair loose up. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm. Always important to flex. Okay. <laughs> Putting on a t-shirt. Let's see, we're already five minutes. You know what? I don't give a shit how long this video takes. If you saw my previous video, not the, the Simpsons ones. Perfect fit, man. Gildan t-shirts, the same that I print my Café Fantini t-shirts on. Perfect. This is fucking hand screen, uh, screen printed by hand by Mike Diana himself. Which is fucking amazing. I think these are um, printed at uh, a fa like a shop, but these are screen printed by him himself. You can see like little rugged paintings. Thank you, Mike. Stoked on having this. And then a fucking bonus t shirt, which we're gonna give away. Hell no, I'm gonna keep it myself. <laughs> yes! I saw this and I wanted it. Fuck yeah. Mike Diana, art on a gallery from September 2017. This is Mike Diana with big lettering and a lot of like details. I'm gonna post this on my Instagram so you can go check out everything that I show now. More detailed over there. Okay, let's see what more we got in here. I love it that it's wrapped in Midtown Comics, New York City. Like I collect these bags, so I, I'm gonna keep the bags. I'm gonna try and open it so I don't fuck up the paper bag. Really comfortable t shirt, by the way. Okay, let's kind of open it like this now. I don't wanna fuck up the bag because it's cool to have. Wait, 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 wait. Ah! Oh, okay, this is nerd details that I love. He has like, there's notes written, alien psychic powers, looks like skate toy, in transform into anything like a dude from Star Trek. Dude, this is like uh, some scripts, I think, that is written on the side here, like for maybe one of his comics. So that, that is treasure for me as a fan. Cool, Mike, thanks. Okay, let's see if I can open this bag without destroying it. A little bit too eager now. It's moments like this I notice that I have ADHD. <laughs> yes, bag is safe and secure. If I was into vlogging and editing, I would zoom in on my face there. Now I did it. Analog. Okay, people, we have Superfly, I think this original first print, Superfly number two, Fuck yeah, man. <laughs> for a free catalog, send your name, mailing address, and age, because <laughs> the comics he make is pretty brutal, yeah, Superfly number two, fucking weird ass creepy pissing in his fucking pants alien, <laughs> and then you have some demons on the back. Can flip Ike. Can't wait to read this, Mike. Listen to Iron Monkey, which he designed the cover for. I have it right here. Almost seems like I planned this, but I just I played a lot. So I have it right here. Yeah. Showed it last time as well. This is the cover that he did for Iron Monkey, and you can buy this as a print on his website. Brutal shit. Fucking love it. I love the saggy balls, by the way, just like mine. <laughs> I'm a pig. And then you have Superfly number one, Mike Hunt Comics from 93. I love this cover. Really fucking cool with all the colors. And then it's all like pure black, black and white on the inside, like this. And then on the back, fucking cool. Love this, Mike. Really fucking cool. Ooh, and this is also first print, I think. Uh, let's see, it doesn't say anything. Nope, nope, nope. But yeah, 
Superfly number one and two. Fuck yeah. And then you have Juicy Fetus. Oh yeah! Fuck yeah, I didn't notice that before now. Did you sign them all, motherfucker? Yes, he did. I didn't see it. To Martin from Mike Diana. It's like with silver pen. And this one as well, I think. Yeah, to Martin. Thanks, Mike Diana on top right there. Can you see it? Yeah, thank you, Mike. Really, I love knowing that it's my copy. I will never fucking sell it. I hate every one of you who sell signed, personal signed stuff on eBay and shit. Unless I get it for a good price. Martin, love Mike Diana on Juicy Fetus right there. Fuck yeah. Pinky press. <laughs> he rips the dick and balls of a little child of a fetus. <laughs> As you already might have guessed, it's pretty brutal. I don't know if I can show almost anything here. Like, I love this one. It looks fucking sick. So this is not for kids. Just like my own comics. Just gotta get into jail first. Oh, fuck yeah! Got some trauma. Gonna fucking hashtag the shit out of you. Trauma. My favorite movie company ever. I think I have... Uh, yeah. I have my Toxic Avenger, VHS, and other movies back home that I got from my brother Jay in the USA who gave me the insane toy package in the video um, a cup of coffee and a huge box or no, a cup of coffee and fun box fuck yeah so far, I'm, I envy you Mike that you got to do a Toxie cover on this a film by Frank and Boyle Angels was shown at this uh, Trauma Dance Film Festival. I wish I was there. I hate myself for not being at all those cool places. Uh, and then you have Big Apple Comic Con Comics Exclusive Limited Big Apple Edition. Mike Diana's Sugar Fang. Adults only. Looks fucking sick. Limited Big Apple Comic Con. I love it when I say limited. Crazy ass baby. Really nice uh, pressing. And as always, fucking brutal, savage cartoons. Some of these are already in the America Live Die uh, release that he has, so check those out. Uh, really fucking uh, good book if you want to get like an introduction to Mike Diana. And then you have To Martin, Mike Diana. Bleed Slurpee. Like mini comics. Pool of tears. So much inspiration there, man. Fuck yeah. Spitting on Jesus Christ on the cross. <laughs> Little kids selling tits. <laughs> Crazy shit. You know what? I'm actually gonna move it a little bit forward here. Because the light is really pissing me off. Like this. Let's see. If I show something like this now, is it shadow? No. Oh yeah! Okay, I have to give some cred to Sabine in uh, Copenhagen for uh, turning me on to Mike Diana. I was too focused on her sexy thighs in her little short skirt when I went to see Robert Crumb and uh, his wife doing this talk at Louisiana Art uh, Festival thing. Louisiana, Louisiana Book Festival, whatever, in Copenhagen. And she had this on the, her bag and she said, I really think you would like this artist, Mark Diana, he has this. And then I, I spaced out because I was like taking a photo of this patch. But it, she was holding it on her bag and I could see her shiny thighs instead. Yeah. But she uh, tried to turn me on to Mike Diana at first. But then I got turned on by her. So I forgot. And then later I bought the Iron Monkey album which I only bought first because I knew Phil from Pantera I used to have the Iron Monkey logo t-shirt and the cover was cool and then I I'm like oh my god Mike Diana of course saw the trailer for the documentary and then I was sold so go buy some cool Mike Diana stuff Fred Flintstone by the way but I got a real dick and then baby baked baby Jesus signed by Mike Diana first time on DVD this was like a VHS release a horror movie that he's released I'm planning on doing something similar with Ken the Chicken 
Second Coming, Parking Lot, Babyland, Electric Fire, Sleazy Love, Examined by Courts in 1991. Oh yeah, this is one of the movies that they used uh, in the cases against Mike Diana. Fuck yeah, and I love the DIY style. That's the same I'm gonna do with my DVD releases. So pay attention, uh, follow Cafe on uh, or my, on me or me at Martin Menzoni on Instagram for uh, future releases. Blood Brothers with the same razor blade that I cut myself on the first concert. 20 years anniversary, 15 of March 2021. And here also, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna post all of these on uh, my Instagram so you can go check it out there. More details. And the same blade you see here, it's the same that I have. Right, right here, yeah. Almost the same, like realistic size. Mm -hmm. And then this is pretty fucking cool. I don't know if I'm allowed to show this, so I hope I, I don't get you in trouble, Mike. But I always, I'm old school when it comes to watching movies and um, stuff like that. I want to see it the first time. Um, uh, on, like, on the screen. I don't want to see it on internet or anything. I want to have the actual DVD, but it's not released yet. So I got his private copy. Mike Diana's private DVD copy, Blu-ray copy of the Boiler Angel, the trial of Mike Diana documentary. So thank you, Mike. Thank you a lot. Mm. Moving on. And check out the trailer. I'm going to put it in the link below. There you go. Head Boiled Angel Trip. Mark Lallybert plus Mike Diana. I think it's like uh, for an event. Yeah. This documentary, yeah, it's like a film viewing thing. Really cool to have. I love having stuff like this, memorabilia stuff. Birthday, how? Where, smoke, there, fire. To Martin from Mike Diana. And he even drew a dick dripping for me. Just like this. And then, ta-da! <laughs> Stan Krabs. I have a lot of cool merch, man. Really good. And it was my birthday in September, so this is fitting. Martin is Satan. Hail him. Mike Diana. With a personal drawing. It was like a photo card thing. This is gonna get framed ASAP, Mike. Hell yeah. Thank you so much. Martin is Satan. And with seagulls, because he knows I'm from Haugesund, so it's like a lot of seagulls there. Then you have Mike Diana America. Martin. Happy late B day, Mike Diana, 2020. Fuck yeah! And here's the America, the the book set, the thing that you should get. It's really good. Personal message. Thank you, Mike. And then to Martin, a lot. Yeah, I love it that you actually sign everything. This is pretty. Uh, this is pretty cool. Uh, like an orgy with balloon animals, doing a lady. <laughs> Art party gallery opening. Gonna read these and post them on my Instagram. Okay, now we're getting to the good stuff, baby, baby. This, I know what this is. We're gonna wait with this till the end, but I promise you, it's one of the weirdest, funniest things ever. Only available in the US, but I was lucky enough to get one. Again, Mike, hope I don't get you in trouble. Okay. Now we're talking. This he even wrote to the on the package like this, so I'm not gonna be able to throw away the package. And this we can start with this because this one I know what this is. This is uh, one of the main reasons that I uh, wanted to order something from him. I'm not gonna reveal what it is. Uh, uh. Yeah, gonna save the fucking wrapping paper. This looks sweet. Wow, this is fucking really good shit. Wow, there was a lot more insane, nice um, print than I expected. Fire Brat, my family thrives on. Mike Diana. Fucking good release, man. Look at this. Thick book. What a fucking cool drawing on the back. So inspiring though, because I really want to publish my own comics in a format like this. 
not just comic scenes, which I love doing, but I would love to have like a proper book. Always love smelling new books. Did you sign this, Mike? Did you sign this somewhere? Did you forget to sign it? Motherfucker. You signed the paper though. Maybe it was already wrapped. Damn it. Target and some stuff like that. Yes! Martin, enjoy this filth. Mike Diana with an alien stealing a cow and a devil dick something. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. Okay, I'm stoked. I'm not gonna reveal too much, but uh, you can see that this is my kind of comics. Ah, thanks. And now for this, he even wrote my name on this, so I'm gonna open it like this. Mm -mm. I, I can't open it like calmly. I don't even know what, which way the knife is. Yeah, great, Martin. You should work as a wrapper, gift wrapper. Yo, I got a present for you, gift wrapper. Get it? Oh. To Martin, stay cool. Number 290 of 1500, Mike Diana. Again, screen printed boxes, Black Angel Lives. I like just like the t-shirt, and now if I have the coffee like this, oh yeah, oh. Screen print. Screen shot, I mean. So this is the comics uh, that he released in the 90s, uh, around 92, 93, 94-ish. And these are a re repress of the original fanzines comics, the underground comics that he made and got fined for and put in jail for three years. So this is all eight issues. Like this. And you get them all like in this fucking amazing box. Mm. So what I'm gonna do, just to tease you, is I'm gonna show you all of these covers, but you will have to go to my Instagram I think I'm gonna post them on Cafe Fancine to get more people to go over there and check out my zines. Oh, holy shit, this is some fucking thick covers here. Oh my god, okay, I got some extra. Uh, these are the Boiled Angel fanzines. Fucking amazing package, uh, Mike, thank you so much. All of these were banned in the only artist in the fucking US that got jailed for making comics. Life goal. So I'm gonna uh, start with number one and then number two and etc etc on Instagram. When this video is out, I will find out uh, where I'm gonna post it. I will let you know. But just follow Cafe Fancina and and Marty Manzoni. Holy shit, man! Productive as hell. Just gonna show them a random um, uh, order right now. Boil Angel number five, Satanic Sex issue. There you go. So cool. And then you have Boil Angel number two, uh, Fuck Jesus, Hail Satan. I love the satanic uh, vibe. Boil Angel, this is number one, Strange and Airy Comics for Cool People. Fuck it. It, it looks so fucking good, Mike. Boil Angel number three, it's fucking thick volumes. The Betty comic or whatever it is. Boiled Angel number four. <laughs> With the demon fang dick slurping kind of monster. And. Oh man, yeah, yeah. He signed all of them on the inside. Jesus Christ, you've done a lot of signing, man. And Boiled Angel <laughs> number eight. This, look at this. It's a fucking book. It's like, it's not even. It's so much, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Signed, signed. Number eight and Boil Angel number seven. This is the one that I know is uh, one of the ones uh, that was used in the court cases. I think that's Pebbles from uh, the Flintstones. Totally fucked up. <laughs> Green cover looks amazing. This is fucking rule, Mike. I'll post them on my Instagram. 
more details. What is this? Woo! Oh yeah, certificate of authenticity. This is to certify that the Boil Angel box set herein is an original and authentic limited edition reprinting of Mike Diana's fanzines. All issues in the box have been hand numbered and signed by the artist. This is box set number 290 of 1500 box sets, Mike Diana, and signed. I'm gonna make something like this because this looks really professional. Fucking good! And then you have Boil Angel number 6. I love engaging in antisocial behavior. Which is like in a, a bigger size. But yeah, I always prefer scenes in this size. I tried once with Candy Chili number 1 in this. Way too expensive to print. And uh, just doesn't look as good. But cool to see big size uh, photos. Oh my god, I have so much reading in the future. Okay, we've come to the last box, people. Thank you for watching A Cup of Coffee and Mike Diana, part two. Uh, maybe we should call it uh, A Cup of Coffee and Boiled Angel. Yeah, that's a good name. Cup of Coffee and Boiled Angel. You will, uh, yeah, you know the title now, 26 minutes in the video. Uh, typical now, somebody can call me right before I'm done. Because I saw somebody tried to uh, text me, but so let's wrap this up. <laughs> okay, people, this is the last we look at today in a cup of coffee and uh, boil angel. Uh, it's world's largest fetus. This little box right here, only available in the U.S. So if you're in the U.S., you should get this. <laughs> and it's like wrapped. Uh... <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> this is pretty extreme. <laughs> Made by Mike Diana. It's the world's biggest fetus. And it's like ceramic. Oh yeah. To Martin, Mike Diana, 2020 on the back. <laughs> and then you have the world's largest fetus. <laughs> And with that, I say thank you for watching A Cup of Coffee on my YouTube. Subscribe, like, share, hate, and leave a comment. And what was your favorite thing in the Boiled Angel package from Mike Diana? Write in the comments below. Go to my Instagram to see more. And also check out Mike Diana on Instagram and his website for more crazy shit. And I will post all the stuff that I have on my Instagram. So, thank you for watching. I will enjoy my cup of coffee. And then uh, look at this uh, weird fetus right there. Uh, or you can be the one that ends the video like this.